Hey homo sapiens and marbites, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to any new subscribers or watchers. I am Rogue Marby Scott. So today I am using a new palette that I have purchased. It's not a new palette uh, by any means um, in the market, but it is a second addition to a palette. So I am using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I I'm in love with all the colours that it's got. Sorry, my lighting is like so bright right now. Just so that you can get, you know, the clear colouring and everything. But um, yeah, this palette is just so... I, I, I love all the colours in it. And um, it's from BH Cosmetics as well. Which you all know that I've been using BH Cosmetics on my eyes for like yonks now. Like, it's my go-to. I'm not even using anything else. Like, I haven't used the Kylie Bible, um, collaboration as much. Hmm, yeah, I think it doesn't go well with my skin tone, depending on what I'm doing. But all these bright colours in this and in the 120 palette and, um, the Tropicana palette, yeah, I just love them. Um, I can't wait to get a few more. Um, I do have some, I, do I, I've got the space one, but yeah, I, I'm, I, I just haven't been inspired to do anything with that yet. Because um, I'm quite literal, so I will probably do something very spacey with that. Anyway, I'm talking way too much. Um, so if you want to know how I got this look, keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by colour correcting my face and I'm going to do it in a very dramatic way. I'm not going to blend it out too much, I'm just going to place it underneath my eyes and keep it as opaque as there, just blending out the edges just a tiny little bit. I'm also going to use the excess that's on my finger to go over some black ble 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 blemishes that I have on my face from popping spots. I don't advise that you pop spots, it's not good for your skin, especially if you get hyperpigmentation. Anyway, moving on. I'm now going to set that concealer on my face with a powder so it doesn't move anywhere on my face because I want that to stay there and now I'm going in with my foundation normal foundation as usual nothing special and then I'm just going to blend that out seamlessly and I make sure that I blend this out for a good like five minutes Just to let you know, I am not going to show you me blending this out for five minutes. However, it is sped up, so you're going to see most of what I've been doing, blending it out. But I also wanted to tell you a little bit about this look. So this look is kind of inspired by Birds of Paradise. It's very bright and very vibrant and um, it may be a possible series. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see that. But today I wanted to use that palette from... Um, BH Cosmetics Brazil, you know, take me back to Brazil and use the vivid colours and just have like a really fun look. So that's the look today. I've not really gone underneath my eyes with the sponge because I'm going to go on with my concealer next, as you can see here. Going in with my concealer because my concealer is just going to cover up what I've already um, colour corrected. So this is what I'm doing and I'm not going to show you too much, but that's how I'm putting my concealer on and then I'm going to go out and blend that once I've highlighted other areas of my face also. Highlighting my chin, I'm making sure that this is kind of like a hammock look underneath my chin just to bring more attention to the center of my face. So this is why I'm doing this hammock look and I'm not actually even going to be contouring in this video apart from my nose I think. I'm not too sure but we'll get there soon. Anyway, I'm going to blend out. You know how to blend. If you don't, keep watching and see exactly how I'm blending. I'm just blending it to a seamless look. I'm kind of a fan of this dewy look so far so I probably will do lots of dewy looks further out on the channel later on. Just as a side note, if you are using a beauty blender, always switch sides of your beauty blender. So mix and blend with different parts of the sponge because you don't want to transfer any makeup to ruin your look. So I'm just showing you how I'm doing that there, okay? 
Now I've lost my nose a little bit so now I'm just going to go in with a dark concealer and I'm just going to blend out a dark shade just to redefine my nose, not define my nose. I'm just placing the foundation, the concealer where I need it because I've lost my nose from the concealer. That's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to blend that out so it's not too harsh. And now, as you can see, I'm about to slightly bake. I'm not going to bake too long in this video or in this look. I'm just going to kind of bake it for, I would say like a minute. Usually sometimes if I want my face to look really matte, I will bake for like 10 minutes. Dusting all of that off, I'm now prepping my skin for my highlighter, which is going to come up soon, but yeah. I wanted this look to look dewy so this is why I'm dusting off as much of the powder that I can and I'm going to reapply some highlighter run afterwards. You're going to see that in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. Here we are, we're on to my highlighter now and this highlighter is close to my skin tone which I think complements the look all together because I want to kind of look so bronzy, so bronzy, I want to look really bronzy and I want to look very colourful and youthful at the same time as having a striking eye look. So just giving you a bit more background on the whole look. I tend to blend out my um, highlighter with a damp beauty sponge as well just so that it's not too striking and then if I want it to pop a little bit more I will go in further and obviously blend out. Just defining the tops of my nose, my bridge and my tip with some highlighter I'm just going to blend that all in as well like I've done before and I'm going to continue on with the look. Moving on to my eyebrows, I'm just brushing those into place and then I'm going to apply a light wash of brow pencil or gel or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I'm not too sure how dark I want them at this point so I don't go in, I don't go all Instagrammy. I just keep them natural looking. I don't know what to do with it. I've never used it before. <laughs> so like I said, I've never used this palette before so I didn't know what I was going to do, what colours I was going to choose but I decided that that purple was calling me. Purple always calls me when it comes to doing eyeshadow makeups, um, eyeshadow looks. So I went in with the purple first and you know, I, am, I was kind of thinking I want the eyeshadow to kind of look bruised at the top so I made it look a little bruisey and then I go in with a second um, purple or pink, fuchsia and I do this all over my eye because I'm going to do a cut crease today but my cut crease I want it to look as if it is like the wings of a bird or wings of a butterfly right now it's time to create the cut crease and I'm going to warn you now I'm going to look like I'm from the exorcist in a minute so just placing that there and I'm rolling my eyes where the concealer is you know but it doesn't work so because the concealer wasn't too thick but this time I'm going to place it where I need it and then I'm just going to go in with my head. I'm just going to roll my head around like I'm possessed or something. Don't ask me why, how this works, but it works perfectly. Your eye shape just cuts itself out where it needs to, especially if you have hooded eyes. So I know a lot of people do find cut creases hard. I absolutely think they're hard, but whatever. Going in with the green now to create my wings and I'm going to say, I did have some trouble placing this green on. The other, um, the other shadows came off well. I'm not too sure if it was the concealer or the brush or if it was the um, actual formula of the green, but it took me a good 10 minutes just to do that one eye. Going in with a nice peachy orangey tone because I want that wing to look glossy, but I also want to bring some gloss and shimmer to the outer corners of my eyes also.
Now I'm just going to go in with a pencil brush with that yellow and I'm going to build up the colour. I didn't want it to be too opaque because I didn't know if it was going to look good. So I wanted to start off lightly and then build up the colour as I went on. And as you can see, I'm building and building and building until I'm absolutely happy. One question, do you want me to name brushes that I'm using when I'm doing these videos? Because I don't actually say what brushes I'm using or the um, type of brush often enough. But if that's what you want, leave it in the comments below and I will see if I can accommodate you. I've just done my lower lash line. Now I'm going to do my winged liner, which I really hate doing. But today I'm using a trick that I've seen all over the net. I'm using spots to um, mark where I'm going to place my liner and I'm going to place them in specific areas. So in a corner, right before the iris, pupil, just after the iris, outer corner, up a little bit where you see that and then I'm going to do one just above my, just underneath my brow. And then I'm going to connect those all together like so. I'll let you watch. So basically I sneezed doing my this eye, so I had to clean it up with some um, concealer. So clearly I realised that the natural brow was not going to go with this look, so I go in with a jet black um, eyebrow pomade and fill those bad boys in. I feel like cleaning up your brows for this look is very essential. So this is why I'm going over with the concealer just to cut that brow clean. Now using a yellow and a purple eyeliner from NYX, I'm just going to place spots over my crease but you don't really see it when my eyes are open, but when they're closed, you do see it, which is the intention. Right guys, we're almost up and finished with the video, so we're moving on to the lips, and I'm using a purple from uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Kit, as you just saw, and I'm just going to line my lips and fill in a little bit and leave in the middles of my lips bare, because that's where I'm going to place the yellow, because I want this look to kind of look like I've got bird lips, like a beak, but yeah, don't worry. Just in my own head. Anyway, I'm just blending that with my fingers and doing the pucker blend and then I'm going to now move on to finishing this look by placing some glitter eyeliner on and I'm going to do two um, lines close together on each eye just to thicken that whole eyeliner look beneath. Sorry if I'm talking too fast, today I am really hung over, so sorry about that too also. <laughs>
So guys, that's how I got the look and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I will see you in the next um, coming videos, I guess. <laughs>